You've heard arguments like this before. Saudis, Sunnis, Shiites, Iranian-backed militants killing each other every day. Muslims are killing other Muslims. Why don't you speak about Sudan? Where is the outrage about the children in Yemen? Why don't you talk about the genocide in Congo? Why is the Gaza, the Palestinian plight at the forefront of the news? Why are you just speaking about Israel? Yeah, those conflicts are terrible, heartbreaking. But why, oh why don't we speak about them as much as we speak about Israel? Maybe because the Congolese government doesn't take one-fifth of the U.S. aid despite not being a third world country. Maybe because we didn't give Syria $26 billion to continue dropping bombs on civilians because the Syrian lobby bought our American politicians with $100 million and it brags about it every single day on their Twitter account. Maybe because our politicians are not kissing up to the government of Yemen. America needs Israel. Humiliating themselves and the country they represent and the people voted for them. Maybe because we didn't invite the Nigerian prime minister to speak to Congress while he's wanted by the ICC. Maybe because America didn't use more than 60% of its vetoes in the Security Council to protect the government of Saudi Arabia. Maybe because we don't have American senators running to the capital of the UAE appeasing to their leadership, telling them, don't worry, we will never stop flooding you with arms. Maybe because our congressmen didn't threaten the ICC to protect Egypt. Maybe because police didn't attack hundreds of college students, brutalizing them, vilifying them, even ending their careers because they wanted their universities to divest from the Somalian regime. Maybe because we don't have 37 states with laws penalizing people who join BDS to boycott China. Maybe because we don't have comedians supporting Russians killing of children and ending up on the cover of Variety magazine. Maybe because we don't have blacklists in Silicon Valley targeting people objecting to the Afghani police and ending their careers. Maybe because we don't have TV anchors working around the clock to cover up for the Iranian regime atrocities or have our politicians and celebrities sign their bombs. Maybe because we don't have an American comedian traveling to play a fantasy game killing civilians. Maybe because we don't have non-profit organizations like Friends of the IDF raising hundreds of millions of dollars from celebrities to send tax exempt donations to veterans of the Iraqi army while American veterans continue to suffer. Maybe because we don't have the government of Rwanda sucking our tax dollars and because of that, many of their citizens in Rwanda have free health care, college education, housing, and even unemployment benefits. All that because of our tax money. And all that happens through bipartisan agreements every year, while here in America, the two major parties will never agree on any solutions for homelessness, health care, student debt, or jobs, or anything that benefits the American public. Maybe because we don't have congressmen wearing Algerian military uniforms in Congress. Or maybe because we don't see the two presidential candidates sucking up to a foreign country while competing to become Israel's favorite bitch. Nobody on this stage that's more pro-Israel than I am. We're all united by our unyielding commitment to the survival, security, and success of the Jewish state of Israel. Maybe because we see the media and politicians continue supporting a lying regime that got caught many, many, many times. Maybe because we don't have that occasional fake rage every time an Egyptian missile kills you and workers. Or maybe because we don't have our government turning a blind eye while Jordanians celebrate killing American activists, even making pancakes parties, celebrating the death. And then they cover it up with their army fake half-ass apology. It was a mistake. But that's okay, because we will use religious scripture to justify our unwavering support to our friends in Africa. If you bless Israel, I will bless you. If you curse Israel, I will curse you. I mean, do you want Columbia University to be cursed by God? Maybe because you're an idiot. And you know that bullshit argument is a distraction. Democrats who shit on Republicans for taking money from the NRA take more money from APAC. And Republicans who talk about America first are more concerned about Israel's interests first. So yes, that's why we are obsessed with Israel. And you pretending to care about other conflicts or babies or civilians dying anywhere else in the world? It's fake. You know it's fake. So, the next time someone asks you, why don't you talk about this or that? Just ask them, why don't you just shut the fuck up?